May I now introduce to you the second speaker on the same subject, Ms. Ridima Pandey from India. She is an environmentalist, environmental activist. She was also invited by the Holy Father, Pope Francis, for an environmental meeting that is featured in documentary, The Letter. Ms. Pandey will speak for 20 minutes. Sawadika, um, Your Eminences, Your Excellencies, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, and Guests. My name is Rathama Pandey. I am 14 years old, and I am from India. I am from Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is a part of the Himalayan region, and it is known for its natural beauty. The Holy River Ganga also flows there, but this treasure is now being polluted because of human activities like deforestation, disposal of wastes in the Ganges, and a lot more, and I believe that many of you present here might already know about that. My state has been impacted by cloud bursts, landslides, and flash floods. And flash floods are the reasons why I became an activist. I was five years old when uh, the Kedanath flash flood occurred in my home state, Uttarakhand. I was sitting at my house and I watched the destruction at the television. I watched kids crying that they lost their parents, that they lost their family members, that they can't find their homes and they don't know what next they're gonna do. I also saw my father going there to rescue the animals. And somewhere seeing that destruction got so much into my head that I started having nightmares. Nightmares that I died because of a flood. I lost my parents, I lost my house, and I, don't really, I didn't really know what next I should do. After being impacted by these flash floods for a while, I decided that I wanted to do something because I didn't want it to die. So I asked my parents in terms of, what should I do about stopping the flash floods? I mean, what can I do to <laughs> it's okay. Um, and what can I do to stop flash floods? Because I didn't want it to die. And that's when I came to know about what climate change and global warming is. I got to know that because of our human emissions, the climate of the entire Earth is changing. And my, I remember my parents telling me that I would be the one most impacted. India, just like Asia, is one of the most impacted places by climate change. But what, matter, what makes me even more anxious is that ones who are the most impacted ones because of this crisis are not the ones mainly responsible for this crisis. The kids of my generation are the ones most impacted by this crisis, today and in the near future. We are currently nowhere near on the track of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius or even 2 degrees Celsius. The current policies would lead to 2.7 degrees Celsius or even more warming at the end of the century. This is what the IPCC report says. Decision makers must do everything they can to limit the warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Every fraction of the degrees count. Every single fraction of degree matters to all of us. I filed a petition against the government of India in 2017 due to their inaction to complete the promises they made during the Paris Agreement and a failing in order to implement those decisions on ground. That petition was dismissed by the National Green Tribunal in 2019 after one and a half, after one and a half year on the grounds that the government was doing everything they can, but we all know that's not the reality, that's not the truth, because if government would have been doing everything, I wouldn't have been here talking about climate crisis and worrying about my future. And also in 2019, I filed a petition at United Nations under the Child Rights Committee to protect the child rights of kids all around the world, along with 15 other child petitioners. Unfortunately, uh, due to some technical issues, the UN couldn't take it forward. 
which has impacted the lives of many children around the world. Millions of kids around the world are dying because of climate change or are living my nightmares, and I don't want that. I don't want my generation to suffer. What has my done, generation done wrong to live in such a conditions when the older generation had a healthier life, had a healthier childhood? According to the UNICEF's report, one billion children are highly exposed to very high level of air pollution. And even within kids and people, you know what's the worst case? Is that climate change doesn't impact each and every person in the sim similar way or in the same way it does. The poor and the weaker communities are the ones bearing the brunt of our wrong deeds. Climate change is projected to increase the number of people experiencing extreme poverty from 32 million to 132 million by 2030. Over the last decade, the mortality from floods, droughts, and storms have been up to 15% higher in the most affected countries. The gap between the economic output of the world's richest and the poorest countries is 25% larger today than it would have been without global warming. We have to shift from gain maximization for a few to risk minimization for all. Now, when I say risk minimization for all, what I really mean is to get your help to address this crisis. We can follow the steps mentioned by Bishop Chiral just uh, in the earlier session just now. We need your help to provide a platform to the youth activists to present their views and to be heard. Now is the very first, the very first thing that would have came to my mind if I would have not been an activist would be why do kids become climate activist at the very first place? I mean, why is it important for us to be on the streets fighting for our rights? I believe it is because the older generation didn't took the lead, and they didn't did their jobs properly. I was forced to be an activist because of the older generation forgot to respect the planet. I was forced to be out of my school and miss out on my childhood because I was scared that if I won't take action, I would die and my future would be destroyed. I am very fortunate enough that I got the chance to work as a cast member at the film The Letter, produced by Ledata C Movement and Off the Fence Production, whose trailer you'll be watching very soon. Um, and I had a private audience with His Holiness Pope Francis at the Vatican, representing the voice of the youth, along with the voices of the poor, the voices of the indigenous, and the voices of the wildlife. I still remember the day when we all were at the Vatican waiting for His Holiness to come, and to be honest, that was one of the amazing, yet one of the most nervous day of my life, because I was very scared to meet him. I, I mean, knowing that we were filming and knowing how important he was, I was very scared. But the moment he entered the room, I felt this very positive energy from him, and to be honest, I found him really cute and kind at the same time. Seeing him hear us made me heard as an activist, made me feel heard as an activist. And that's what we need. While we were filming the letter, I also learned about the encyclical Laudato Si. And I learned that in the encyclical, His Holiness has mentioned that we all have to come together to protect our common home, to protect this planet. In the letter, you'll see four different voices coming together and have a dialogue with Pope Francis to change the way we treat Mother Earth today. We hope that this film will help you bring the message of Laudate Si to different communities in your country so that they will be able to join Pope Francis in his fight to protect Mother Earth in the, uh, for the coming generations. Now, at the very end, me and the Laudate Si movement would like to invite you all for the special screening of the letter from Pope Francis to you today at 7.30 p.m. Now let's watch the trailer of the film that we will see this evening. Thank you, thank you so much.
Vatican releases Pope Francis is wildly anticipated encyclical on the environment. La naturaleza grita. Deténganse. Deténganse. Procedure climatique un manque de la production de la nature qui pousse aujourd'hui de nos populations à quitter ces nous. C'est perdre la terre, la forêt, le grand agronegócio qui est arrivé ici. Les marines heat waves sont causing une unknown amount de death among corals. Je veux que tous les leaders leaders fassent quelque chose pour arrêter le changement climatique. Parce que si ce n'est pas going to arrêter, c'est going to, stop, going to harm our future. Queridos poètes sociales. Porque ustedes son poetas sociales, porque tienen la capacidad y el coraje de crear esperanza allí donde solo aparece descarte y exclusión. Yo no iba a estar tranquilo, por favor. Yo un espíritu que fue así. El mundo va a mudar. Porque lo que estaba encubierto, hoy está siendo descubierto. Hay que decir de mí en tres formas, y no hay que jamás romper su bien. Que no es uno de nosotros, es un isola. Amo todo el sueño y un de guiar. ¿Dónde va? ¿Por qué me va a proteger el ángel de mal? Try to be the change you want to see in the world. We arrive as individuals with very different stories, but we all share the dream. Miss Pandy, young as you are, you have addressed the very important question of climate change. You have had the courage to ask the right questions from the older generation. You have been questioning the inactivity of the older generation. We pray that you may grow up as a climate change activist. You have the blessings of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and you have also the blessing of all of us. Thank you. God bless you. May I invite Ms. Pandy to come up on the stage, please. Let us now pray in silence for two minutes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 